let us quickly go through an example and understand how we can design a foundation so here you have 230 by 230 column and you have a load of 600 kilonewtons sbc is 200 kilonewton per meter square which you will get from soil report m20 and fe 415 we are using and we will design it as per indian code at the moment so load 600 we are calculating the self weight 10 percentage extra you can also calculate as we mentioned now by calculating exactly the self weight of soil and concrete so here I'm taking 10 percentage extra so 60 kilonewton total load becomes 660 and area required is 660 divided by 200 and you get 3.3 .3. now we are assuming it to be a square footing because you have a square column so for square columns square footings are better because the cantilevers on either side will be equal so if you have rectangular column then it is ideal to have rectangular footing so that this cantilever and this cantilever can be equal so if this cantilever and if this cantilever are equal you will be able to optimize the design because the cantilever is lesser if you give different cantilevers then one dimension will increase one cantilever will increase and that will result in an economic design your depth cannot be different in two direction in case of footing it has to be a single depth so it is sensible to have lesser cantilever which will help in having lesser depth so that's why we have rectangular footing for rectangular column and square footing for square columns now site conditions may demand to change this in which case we have no choice we may have to change say in case if you have edge restriction your footing cannot have the dimension that we want because the property edge is not allowing you to have that size or if there is an adjacent structure or there may be many restrictions which will force you to have a different size now you got a size of 1.85 and your pressure will be 600 the load alone the point load alone divided by the area you get 175 which is less than 200 which is the SBC so we are okay now the factored pressure is 263 175 multiplied by 1.5 as per IS and the factored load is 900 so that is your factored pressure and load now design for punching as per IS you have D by 2 away you are punching will be d by 2 away from the face so as an example you consider a paper kept on top of a sharp pin it will punch through and it will create a through hole but that's not the case always when you have a larger point of contact so if you take a larger pen or a pencil with a less sharp tip then the paper may not punch and if it punches a portion of the paper an extra portion of the paper come along See if you have a paper, it will not make a sharp hole like that. A surrounding area also punches through because that's how it will fail when the edge is not really sharp. So if you average out this dimension, you get around D by 2 in case of a concrete foundation or a slab so that's what we are taking and in case of British standards it is taken as 1.5 d away from the support now punching area will be a plus d the whole square a plus d multiplied by a plus d in this case it is a and b are same so square footing so a plus d multiplied by a plus d so you get 0.375 meters square Punching shear force equal to the factored load, the factored load coming from the column from which you have to subtract the soil pressure because soil is helping you to negate that load coming down. So pressure multiplied by the area of this punching region. So 0.375 is that. So you get 801 kilonewton as the punching force let us now calculate the punching shear it's a two-way shear your foundation is being punched along the cross section as well as the perimeter so the punching area is depth multiplied by this perimeter so the perimeter is a plus d plus a plus d 
plus a plus d plus a plus d because a plus d is same as b plus d in this case because a equal to b so you have 4 a plus d so you get a total perimeter of 2448 millimeter so the punching shear stress will be this punching force divided by perimeter into effective depth so you get 0.86 here as per 3163 of IES the permissible punching is 0.25 root FCK multiplied by KS K is into TOSI so TOSI is this KS is 0.5 plus beta c and beta c is the smaller dimension of column by larger dimension of the column in this case 1 so it is 1.5 but it cannot be more than 1 it's a reduction factor it is not an additional factor so it cannot be more than 1 you can read the close you will get to know about that so the permissible is 1.12 in our case we have much lesser so this is fine we have taken a depth of 450 and the effective depth is 382 